Well, a jury in Jonathan Major's assault trial is due to hear the first full day of testimony today. The Marvel movie actor is accused of attacking a former girlfriend. Majors has pleaded not guilty to aggravated harassment and assault charges. Jerika Duncan has more. Jonathan Majors arrived at a New York court Monday morning for opening statements in his assault case. Majors listened as the prosecution told jurors the two-year relationship between he and ex-girlfriend Grace Jabari started out as loving before Majors allegedly became violent and controlling. You think you mad? Try spending half your life in a cell. The Marvel actor is accused of attacking Jabari in an Escalade last March in New York. Prosecutors claim the late-night altercation left Jabari with a fractured finger and a cut behind her ear. The prosecution wants to show the jury that Jonathan Majors escalated his behavior from being a psychologically controlling individual to becoming a physically controlling individual, and that he really hurt her. In contrast, the defense says this case is about the end of a relationship, not a crime. Jabari, according to Major's attorneys, was the aggressor, grabbing his phone after seeing an intimate text from another woman. The defense says it was Majors who emerged from the car bloodied and went to a hotel, while Jabari went out to a club. The surveillance video screen grabs appear to show Jabari near the bar after the alleged fight. Well, there could not be two more diametrically opposed stories here. So which one is the jury going to believe? Jerika Duncan joins us now from outside uh, the courthouse here in New York City. Jerika, great to see you. You've been following yep. this closely. You've been attending you. the hearings. What can we expect from today's testimony and what's jumped out at you so far? So much has jumped out. So many things that we heard yesterday in those opening statements that we had not previously heard, which is to be expected during a trial. It's expected to last, by the way, about two weeks. So uh, just again to reiterate sort of the prosecution and what they're saying in all of this. We do uh, hope to hear from Grace Jabari as well as the key witness in this would be the person who was driving Jonathan Majors and Jabari, uh, Grace Jabari when this alleged incident happened inside that SUV. As far as what we will hear from Jabari, prosecutors hinted to uh, some of what we might hear in the opening statements. They said that there was an audio recording that we would likely hear of Jonathan Majors that Jabari recorded of him during an argument. Um, prosecutors say that Majors told Jabari she needed to, quote, live up to standards of Coretta Scott King and Michelle Obama. I thought, you know, when I heard that, that was uh, obviously mm. a bit odd and struck me. Uh, they want to paint a picture truly of someone who was violent before the March 25th alleged incident in that SUV. But the defense is focused on what happened on March 25th, saying that after this uh, incident in the car, that essentially her client went to a hotel and that Jabari went out and was at clubs and that they're going to show pictures and images of that and that she did not appear to be in any pain, that she went back to the place where Majors and Jabari lived, um, was drinking, ended up half naked in a closet. Majors finds her, according to the defense, and calls the police, which then starts uh, what we are here for now, which is her telling authorities uh, that she was attacked inside that SUV. Although early on, the defense had put out information showing text messages where Jabari had said that she told the police it was her fault and that she didn't want anything to happen to him and things of that nature. So there are clearly two different uh, competing narratives about what actually happened. But today we could hear from Jabari uh, in, in testimony, but it's still unclear as to whether or not we will hear from majors uh, when all of this is said and done. Wow, and this just started. Yeah. Uh, it's bound to be an interesting yeah. case. Jerika, thank know. you. I know, just started. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely.